And one of those reasons they say may be due to unknown water leaks, among other things, but those I spoke with say they don't feel responsible. They're trying to put this on the residents and and that's just not right. That's Anna Shanks point. never thought she'd have to choose between paying her car payment or water bill, but that's the decision she's left with after her latest statement from the city. Right there it says 298. And she isn't the only one. Several others saying they're dealing with the same problem, now at a loss. Ron Colbert's bill more than double what it usually is. They're, they're typically around $140. And this last month, it, it went to 388. 388. A lot of us live on Social Security, and, and uh, it, it gets, you know, do we pay uh, water bill or for med medication? The city saying the increases could have been caused by unknown leaks, over irrigation, or missed meter readings, resulting in a month that went unpaid being added on the following bill. Many telling me these examples don't explain their situation. We would have to look at this on a case by case basis. We do know that water bills trend higher in the summer, mostly because of outdoor water use, but that isn't the case in every single instance. For those worried, the city isn't doing cutoffs for residential properties for the foreseeable future due to COVID and say those struggling to pay can call customer service for help resources. If they've already gone through one of our frontline representatives, they're certainly welcome to escalate that call uh, and speak to somebody who might be able to do a deeper analysis. And that's just not right. That's not taking responsibility. Portia Riley, KOCO 5 News.